Welcome back, nail crew. Welcome back. As you can tell, I have everything all set up, looking all clean and ready to go. I'm about to do a nail fill, but before I do that, I have to wrap my nails. So I've been wrapping it in this medical tape. This is either sports tape, Coban, cling, medical tape, whatever you guys call it. I'm wrapping my nails in this so that it protects it. Every time I file a client's nails, I always file away the top coat off my nails or I mess my nail up some way. So this sports tape has really been helping me prevent messing up my nails, especially because my nails are so beautiful. I really, really love them. So I'm wrapping them and then I'm going to get started. So this is what her nails look like, y'all. So I believe I did her nails about two months ago or very close to two months. This is what it looked like in the beginning when it was all fresh and beautiful. This is what it looks like. So if you did not see me do these nails, I will leave a link in the description box, catch that video. Also, also I will leave her full set. So originally, when I did her first set, this is what it looked like right here. I actually loved, I freaking loved this set so much. And I think she ended up wearing that set for, I want to say like a month and a half or going on two months. Oh, this poor woman is so busy that every time she's ready for a fill, I'm busy or if I'm ready to do her nails, she's busy. So it always ends up, I see her like once every month or every other month, so it's real crazy. But eventually we'll sync our schedules and everything will be good. But thank God that I prep well, thank God that I prep well and her nails are able to stay on so long. Now with that being said, I am speeding through the prep process and I left a lot of the prep process out because as many of you guys know, I have a separate prep video. So that will be in the description box as well. So I left you three videos to watch in my description box. Her previous set and her full set. So go watch those. And then also if you're having problems with lifting or prepping, I'm leaving my prep video in the description box as well. So that's three videos for you guys to watch. Oh, and then also, 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 I'll leave my nails in the description box as well. So if you guys notice, my left hand and my right hand are totally different, right? So one's acrylic, one's gel. I will leave both of those videos in the description box. So you have five videos five videos for you guys to watch oh my gosh you're welcome you're welcome i mean hello <laughs> all right guys really quick before i go any further could you make sure that you are subscribed so stop what you're doing stop the video pause it make sure you subscribe hit the thumbs up leave me a comment and hit the bell so you know when i upload next all right now that that's out of the way on to the fill so our nails are prepped as you can see, I added a thin, clear layer of acrylic. The clear acrylic that I'm using today is the same one that I sell on my website. It's the same acrylic that I've been using forever now. I haven't changed anything about my clear acrylic. Um, the colored acrylic is from Not Polish, so I will leave links to everything. The clear acrylic you could find on my website, I'll leave that link in the description box. The colors that I'm using today, oh my gosh, so beautiful. I got those from Not Polish. Now let me tell you, see her skin is fair, just like Esther's skin, right? And so if you guys remember, I did Esther's nails in this beautiful orange color. And Esther's skin is fair, her skin is fair. So I thought that since it matched so well for Esther, that it would look just as beautiful on her. So I had to pull it out and I was like, let me do your nails with this color. She was like, okay. Cause she never really comes with ideas. It's very seldom that she comes with a color theme that she wants. She just lets me do whatever the hell I wanna do. You know what I mean? She just sits down and she just lets me have fun. So thank God for her because I really wanted to pull this orange out again and she let me. So that's what I'm doing. Now, she saw that I had on my ring finger on my left hand, like a little white and clear swirl on top of a background color. So I'm doing that exact same thing on her finger because she saw it on mine and she was like, oh my God, that is so pretty, I want it. So yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I laid down the orange color and now as you can tell, I'm just swirling the clear and the white right on top. And oh my gosh, that just gives you like the cutest 
the cutest simple look i love it i love it it's so easy oh my it's just so pretty so pretty i mean what could i say the color orange on her looks amazing that swirl clear and white on top of that orange amazing amazing so as you guys know i don't really have a plan per se you guys i mean this is not any new news this isn't new news you guys know i don't have a set plan as to what i'm doing okay all i know is that she's going to have orange she's going to have the white she's going to have some glitter i mean duh duh she's gonna have glitter right duh um, so orange, white, glitter, and pretty much that's all I know. And every nail would be different because I always do every nail different. It's kind of like my thing, you know, it just, it just makes everything fun and pretty and just, I don't know, it just makes me happy. So I'm doing every nail different. I got the colors down, um, but I don't really know what I'm doing per se. I'm kind of just winging it, but that's not new. Hmm. <laughs> when you, when you click on my videos, you know, nine out of 10. She's winging it. <laughs> Nine out of 10, she's making it up as she go along. <laughs> but the idea, guys, if you are doing someone's nails and you don't have any idea what you're going to do, what I do is I make such good conversation with the other person that it kind of throws them off. And if there's a stall, like if you have to like pause and think about what you're going to do on the next nail, it doesn't seem like you're lost or confused because it just seems like you're having a conversation and you're caught up in the conversation. No, I'm not caught up in the conversation. I'm stalling. I don't know what I'm gonna do on the next finger. So I'm just talking to you until something pops in my head. Sorry if any of my clients watch this video and you now know the secret. Honey, that's the secret. I don't know what I'm doing. I just gotta go with the flow, okay? I go with the flow. <laughs> Unless someone brings me a picture and say, this is exactly what I want, that's, then I, well, uh. <laughs> you're gonna get what I give and most of the time I'm just making it up. I'm sorry, but now you know, now you know. Anywho, I think this glitter, guys, so this is the same glitter that I have on my pointer finger, which is wrapped, so you can't see it but it's the same glitter. This is the glitter mix that I made and I think it is so bomb. It is so bomb. Like I put so much glitter mixed into my acrylic. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. So I had to use it on her as well. Like I had to, I had to share the wealth. Like, I, oh, this glitter is so pretty. I was like, everybody needs glitter. Everyone needs glitter for you, glitter for you, glitter for you. Like everybody needs glitter. So thank God that she's not picky and I could just literally do what I want. So here I am on the middle finger. And of course, now basically, as you can see, I was rushing, I was rushing, okay? And also, it's hard sometimes to get all of the previous acrylic off. It's hard to get all of it off. And it's very time consuming. So as you can tell, a little bit got left behind. But hey, it's not a big deal because no one's going to know. No one's going to know, I'm going to cover it up. So the glitter is so opaque that I was able to cover up the old acrylic and look at that. It's going to look so brand new. Like, come on, y'all. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> look at that. No one's going to know that there was like leftover scraps of pink or whatever color was under there, pink and yellow and all that other jazz. Like, no one's going to know. So, yeah. Like, if, if any of you guys are wondering, do you have to file off all the color? No, hell no. Sometimes you'll be there forever trying to file off the color. Or sometimes, you know, just filing over the same spot because you have like acrylic that won't leave that one spot. It's going to heat up. It's going to burn the client. And you're wasting time. All you have to do is get a color that's a little bit more darker or even one that will blend in or even the same color, the same color, if they don't mind. And go right over it and all is well because no one has time. No one has time to file and file and file. So anyway, off to my pointer finger. So here comes that white. This is a soft white. And even the soft white is opaque enough to cover up the previous acrylic. Do you see that? Go not polish, 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 go not polish. Do y'all see that? Do you see like the color is white? 
but it was still opaque enough to cover up the previous color. So basically, I'm going to do another swirl, but this swirl is different from the first. As you can tell, I'm piling three colors up and I'm just swirling it around with my brush. Now, if you're uncomfortable swirling, because I know that it's not easy at first, especially if you're new, then I would suggest you use a smaller brush so I can tell you guys from experience, and you guys can watch some of my other videos, when I was practicing my swirls, like sometimes it just wouldn't come out right, or it'll be like muddy looking, or it just would not be right. But I would use a smaller brush, like a size two brush. Yes, y'all, they make them that small. A size two brush, and that allows you to pick up tiny beads, and you could swirl tiny beads around until you get it perfect. Now, of course, it's going to take longer because you're using smaller beads, but it will turn out better, especially if you're new. So I think this swirl right here is like perfect. That is, I love it. Like, I love everything about it. It's, it's beautiful to me, it's beautiful. But again, I started out with a smaller brush and I practiced and practiced and pretty much that's all you have to do. Repetition, repetition, repetition. Practice makes progress because you're never gonna be perfect. So I don't like that saying practice makes perfection because you're never gonna be perfect, it's, it's impossible. But you will progress and that's the most important thing that you're getting better, you're getting better, you're getting better. We all have things that we wanna work on. We all wanna progress and progressively get better. So the only way to do that is to practice your craft and practice it every day. Okay, so here I am on the thumb, patting that orange in place. Oh my gosh, like this orange is so pretty on her. I wonder if it'll look really good on me as well because our skin tones are so different and it looks so good on her. I think I'm going to try this on me just to see if it's a universal color, just to see if it looks good on really, really fair skin or on like a nice chocolate skin like mine. You know what I mean? So I'll probably try this color Hmm, I don't know, maybe my next set, if I don't forget, if I don't forget, you guys will remind me, I'm sure, but if I don't forget, I'll try this. Yeah, I'll try it because it's very, very pretty. It's one of my favorite colors. I have a lot of favorite colored acrylic from Not Polish. I really do, I can't even lie. Um, but this is one of my favorite colors, so. I really love how it's complimenting her skin. And I love how creamy it is and how easy it is to go on. Like I'm leaving this in real time so that you guys can see how long it takes me to apply acrylic, but also how nice it is to work with this. So I'm pretty much done. Like, oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Come on. On. So I went ahead and did the other hand off camera because basically it was the same thing. I pretty much did the same thing. So what you're going to see me do now is encapsulate and clear. So the same clear acrylic that I used as the basement layer, that's what I'm using to encapsulate. The only difference, the only difference is when you encapsulate, you want that bead to be a little bit more wet, okay? And I hate to say those words, wet bead, because if you're new, you might take that to mean like super sloppy wet and now it's in the cuticles, it's running down the knuckles and down the wrist and down the elbow. Like not that wet, not that wet, <laughs> not that wet, <laughs> but, you do need a slightly more wet, okay? Slightly wetter bead when encapsulating, and that's so it flows down the nail. That's so it gets into the grooves and it helps to make the nails more even so that in the end, when you're finished filing, you're not there forever. If you use a dry bead to encapsulate, it's going to be lumpy, it's going to dry very quickly, and then when you go to file, you'll be filing so long. Oh my gosh, you'll be filing so long. Trust me, been there, done that, and oh my God. I used to wear out my drill bits. I used to wear out my drill bits and my hand file. Let me tell you, back when I first started, oh my gosh, back when I first started, my agenda was to get the nails on. I didn't care how I got it on, but I just needed them on the nail. And then I would just file it, file it, file it, file it, file it, file it, and make it look pretty, okay? But I just wanted the nails on. Like that was my agenda, getting them on. It took me three hours to do a full set and they were not smooth. They were hills, they were valleys, they were like, 
lumps on one side. It was a hot mess. And then I had to sit there and file and file and file. And my drill bits were getting duller and duller and duller. But Lord, I woke up one day and I just had a whole epiphany. And I was like, girl, if you do it this way, it'll save your time in the end. So voila, y'all. Golly, it took me forever because remember I told you guys, even though I went to nail school, I learned zero in nail school. Like if you guys did not catch that story time, catch the story time because I learned zero. And for those of you who did not believe me, you did not believe me, you could go to my school website, put in on the tips in Ocala. Putting on the tips in Ocala. I'm saying it twice for those in the back that you didn't hear me. You could go to my school website and you could scroll through the Yelp reviews. You could read those horrible reviews. And there's even a review by one of the instructors. Now, run tell that. Okay, run tell that. If you didn't believe that my experience was horrible... <laughs> You could believe the instructor, if the instructor, if the employee went on Yelp and left a bad review, you already know what time it is. So with all that being said, I didn't learn these little simple tips and tricks in school. Like I just did not learn that. I had to learn it on my own and I had to struggle through it. And you know, Low key, I guess I could share the secret with y'all because it's not a secret anymore because I'm over it. But that's why, like, when I graduated, I didn't feel confident in myself to, like, start taking a lot of clients right away. That's why I didn't work in a shop. Like, I got offers and stuff because people saw my work on YouTube or Instagram or they just liked me and they offered me like, hey, you know, I'm about to get a spa and da 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 Seriously, y'all. And I turned things down. Even Aunt, Aunt wanted to open a shop for me. Like, this guy is, like, ready. If if he just believes in me so much, like, he's just ready. Whatever he thinks that I want, like, he's, he's going to provide it for me. But I just was not comfortable. Like, I felt like I didn't learn anything. I felt like I was the worst nail tech on the planet. And I just was not ready. But now... Y'all, it's a whole year and some change since I graduated. And now I finally feel confident enough to call myself a real nail tech. Seriously, like, isn't that sad? A whole year after. Yeah, now I'm finally feeling confident. So now I feel okay working in a salon or taking more clients and things like that. I don't even know how I got on this. Like, where was I going with this story? What the? What? Where? I don't. Where was I going with this story? Like, why did, I don't even know. I don't, I don't know how I got off on this tangent, but I don't know. Maybe somebody needed to hear that. Shoot, I'm just going to leave it in. I'm not even going to edit it out because sometimes y'all, <laughs> sometimes I sit here and I'm talking as I'm doing my voiceover, right? And I have the phone down. Welcome to my world. I have the phone down. I'm not even looking at what's on the screen. I'm not looking at what I'm doing. I'm literally just talking from the head. Like, so what I'm saying doesn't always match up with what you see. So I'm just like rambling on and on sometimes. And then I'm like, Nikki, what are you doing? And then I'll go back and delete it and start all over. Like that happens all the time. But today I'm gonna leave it in there because I feel like maybe that message was for someone. Maybe someone's in school right now and they feel like, I'm not learning nothing. I am wasting my time. I'm going to be the worst nail tech on the planet. Honey, trust me. Trust me. I felt like that too. I felt like that too. I felt horrible all the way till now. Now, a whole year is a change later. I'm finally getting confidence. I'm sorry, but that was just my life. I had to go through it. Maybe I went through it so that I can help somebody else go through it. And if that be the case, I'm okay with that. You know, I'm like, I'm not mad at that at all. So anyway, to the nails, to the nails. So you watch me lay the acrylic and it didn't even take me that long. My speed is getting so much better. I remember when I started y'all and I would do acrylics for like three hours hours right like three hours I'm night sometimes even four hours y'all don't even get me started but now I feel like I could do a whole full set in like an hour and a half oh my god y'all my goal I'm telling you my goal was to get my acrylics done in two hours 
that was my goal, like to be a two hour nail tech. But now I feel like I'm down to an hour and a half. So if I can bring that down to like one hour, oh man, that would be awesome. And part of the reason why I got it down to like an hour and a half is because my prep stays the same no matter what I'm doing. So I don't have to try to remember a step from acrylics to gels to poly. Like I don't have to remember a different step. Everything's the same no matter what I'm doing. So in doing like repetition, 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 with doing repetition comes speed. So I believe that's what shaved off a lot of my time. That and being able to lay the acrylic so that way I don't have a lot of finished filing in the end. So I'm also leaving some of my filing in real time. I won't file both hands for you just because the video will be too long. But as you can see, like I pull out my hand file. The hand file that I'm using is from Not Polish, just like the acrylic. So link and coupon code and all that would be in the description box. But I pulled out my hand file. The hand file is coarse. So if you guys are using a coarse file, trust me, trust me. <laughs> I don't know why I did that, y'all. But trust me, it makes it a lot easier. It makes it go by faster. So get you a coarse file if you feel comfortable with using something that is coarse. So after I did a little quick pre-shape, now I'm using my e-file and my arbor band to just smooth over the surface of the nail. But again, the nails are pretty smooth, like truth be told. So there's not a lot of shaping to do, but I am still going to smooth over the top because a lot of times to the naked eye, they look nice, right? And then you add that top coat and boom, like the top coat really accentuates the flaws. So with that being said, even though I feel like they look smooth, I'm still going to take my time and smooth over the tops of the nail. Make sure that there's no lumps or bumps that I can't see, you know? And also, you want to make sure that you seal in the cuticle area. So if you're afraid to do it with an arbor band, if you feel like your skills aren't there yet or you feel like you're going to hurt the client, then use a safety drill bit or use a cuticle drill bit to really seal in the cuticle area. That's usually what I use. However, my cuticle drill bits are sitting in barbicide. My cuticle drill bits are always in barbicide. It's like, oh my gosh, y'all, oh my gosh. I put them in barbicide and you're supposed to leave them in there for 10 minutes. But I always forget about them and they end up staying in barbicide. Sometimes, y'all, one time I left my drill bits in barbicide for the whole weekend. Like I put them in on a Friday and then I went out of town and I forgot about them. Obviously when I came back, they were still there. Like, hello, we're extra clean. Thank God my drill bits did not rust. Thank God. If you guys buy uh, barbicide, make sure you buy the anti-rust formula. Trust me because yeah, just, just trust me. Just, just go with that. Okay. Anti-rust barbicide. Yeah. Just, yeah, just do that, okay? So also, the e-file, let me point out, this is a Melody Susie e-file, link will be in the description box. I do have a coupon code for this e-file. It works great, as I told you guys when I did the unboxing, I was going to use it in a couple more sets just to make sure that my first impression was the same impression, and it is, it is. I still love it, still don't have any problems. So I do have a coupon code, but my coupon code is temporary. So I want you guys to know that my coupon code will expire August, 2020. So if you like this e-file, if you want this e-file, you have to get it before my coupon code expires because after that, well, then you gotta pay full price. So yeah, if you like it, get it while it's hot. So link will be in the description box for that. This is what the nails look like so far. I really like them, but I'm going to take my hand file and just kind of like fix up this middle finger because it looks like on the one side, it just wasn't as nice as the other side. You know how sometimes you just want to be a perfectionist every now and then, you know? So let me just go ahead and get it right, get it right, get it right. So I'm just going to file that up really quick. And again, I did leave my filing in here in real time, which is something I don't typically do because it's really hard to file on camera often. Um, yeah, but I left it in here for you guys today. You're welcome, you're welcome. But all of you that always say, because you know what a lot of you say, most nail techs, 
leave off the filing. And that's true because I'm guilty of that too. It's just really hard sometimes to file on camera because sometimes you have to do weird, funky stuff with your body and then you get in the view of the camera and then that defeats the purpose. So yeah, I'm guilty of that too, but I did leave it in here for you guys this time. You're welcome. Okay, so the nails are done. I'm spraying them with alcohol. This little pump bottle, this just alcohol in here, nothing fancy, nothing crazy. And I'm going to scrub away the dust that I just collected. Y'all, this color on her is life. This color on her is life, y'all. I cannot wait to put this color on me and it better look just as good it better look just as good that is so beautiful i'm about to go in with the not polish no wipe super glossy top coat i freaking love when you have glitter and then you put the top coat on top of the glitter and it just whoo, brings it to life because you know when you apply the clear acrylic on top of the glitter and you file it, it's really dull and you're looking at it like, oh no, like, oh, is it going to shine again? Is it going to shine? And then you put the top coat on and it's like, hello, here I am. <laughs> here I am. Look at the thumb, look at the thumb. Look how dusty it look. Look how dusty it look. Hold on. Here come the top coat. Here come the top coat. Come on, top coat, where you at? Here we go. Here we go. Look how it come to life, baby. Look how it comes to life, y'all. Yes, not polish ain't nothing to play with. Not polish ain't nothing to play with. Do you hear me? The acrylic bomb. Their base coat and top coat bomb, y'all. Their nail tip bomb. Look at that middle finger. Look at it glitter, glittering. Look at the glitter, glittering. And again, the glitter is one that I made. I made that glitter. So I'm extra proud of it because you know, when you make something yourself, like you just feel extra proud, you know, come on, right? You DIY that. So I DIY my own glitter acrylic mix. And I must say, pat on the back. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. All right. So let's let her cure. Look at these. Look at these. Do you see this? Every time I do her mom's nails, and I mean every time, she comes with her little cute hands and she puts her hands on the table and she's always like, me, I want my nails. She's only two. She's only two. But she knows exactly what color she wants. Like seriously, she is so smart. She knows what color she wants on her nails. She knows if she wants one hand, like one color and one hand, the other color. And she knows once the polish is on her nail, stick her hand right in the lamp. Like she knows all of like, where do these new children come from? Cause I think at two, I would have known gel polish and then stick your hand in the UV light. Like I just wouldn't do that. I just wouldn't be that smart. I wasn't that smart at two. This little girl is like, a genius. <laughs> like she's so smart. Wouldn't it be so cool if she grows up to be a cosmetologist or a manicurist in the future? And I have like the rare footage of when she was two years old and her mom used to get her nails done and she used to stick her hands up on the table like, okay, me next. Wouldn't that be the cutest iconic little like video? Wouldn't that be the cutest thing if I did like a little montage of every time I did her mom's nails, she popped her hands up? Like that would be the cutest little thing like as a graduation present for her as she graduates from cosmetology school or nail tech school or something like that I think that would be so cute that would just be adorable so anyway guys I am done I applied my cuticle oil cuticle oil is also on my website so link will be in the description box check it out and then I'm applying this hand cream which feels amazing this hand cream is from model ones you could purchase it from their website and I do have a coupon code to model once as well and I am done this is what the nails look like I think they are so beautiful and that top coat is so shiny the glitter is so beautiful the orange fits her skin so well I think this nails came out very very nicely and that's a wrap so thank you guys for watching this video thank you for rocking with me for the last 30 minutes y'all thank you i appreciate that don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and a comment make sure you are subscribed and hit that bell so you know when i upload next and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye